back to the Scarlet Faithful podcast. I'm Aaron Brightman and happy to welcome Sophia Howard, goalkeeper for Rutgers Field Hockey, to discuss the season opener and the season ahead for the Scarlet Knights starting this weekend. Sophia, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to chat with you. So coming off a fantastic season for the program, 16 wins, uh, another NCAA tournament berth. Uh, you've obviously been part of a lot of success within this program. Uh, I first wanted to ask, just in terms of your core group, you have so many returners back for this season, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, but just in terms of how much you've learned from the past uh, players with this program that elevated it, obviously Gianna Glatz, who, who you ultimately replaced in goal, but Katie mm-hmm. Lamar, uh, Carrie Burns, others. Uh, how, how important was it for them to set the foundation and how... I guess, satisfied and has it been for your group to be able to carry that tradition along now? Yeah, um, I think obviously I came in and and Gianna was in front of me and she was such an amazing player. And I think the cool thing about us was that we were both very different players. So we learn a lot from each other. Um, I learned a lot from her, which was like really cool. Um, And then just, I think as a leadership group and like as a leader myself, I think, we learned a lot from those past leaders as well. And we definitely carried along a lot of traditions and a lot of values that they set um, because they just work so well with the team. And they definitely were just such great leaders that um, we looked up to and we learned from. And I think they made everyone in the team feel so valued as well. So that's something that we really tried to um, carry along as well and improve on too, definitely. And yeah, you're now a three-time captain for the program, along with Guillermo Casarano. Uh, what's it been like for both of you to do that together? And then obviously, uh, just in terms of ascend now to to a true leader for this program and all the high hopes that you have going into this year. Yeah, um, it was obviously, um, I wouldn't say we were thrown into it, but <laughs> a little bit we were thrown into it in our first year, so... There was definitely a lot of learnings the first year, Um, a lot of like first time, you know, what do we do here? Like, what do we do in this situation? Um, So coming into our second year, I think we took a lot away from that first year. And um, we also, I think, found in ourselves uh, our personal strengths as well as leaders. We're both very different leaders. Um, I would say Guy's definitely more, um, you know, involved in leadership on the field. Obviously, I'm a goalkeeper, so... Um, there comes a lot of leadership with that, but then I also kind of have to step back a little bit at times and really focus on my role. So, um, I mean, off the field, I would say is kind of where I'm like uh, probably more involved in that role. Um, but yeah, now coming into our third year, I think both of us feel a lot more comfortable. We've had that experience. We kind of, we know what to expect. Um, and yeah, we've had a lot of learnings along the way. Definitely a lot of learnings in that first year. So um It's been really, it's been a very cool experience as well. You know, Um, we've learned a lot about each other as well, which has been very cool. So that's, I think you made a great point. And I wanted to ask in terms of, you were obviously a part, there's so many juniors and seniors, third, fourth year players in this program now. uh, And you obviously were on the team when you had that great run uh, three years ago. And then your first year uh, really, uh, you know, playing, starting every game and, uh, many of your group, obviously, it was it was a roller coaster year. You had played so many ranked teams. You just missed making the NCAA tournament, and then to be able to come back and have the year that you had last year. How much did you learn from that, and how much has that helped prepare you now for this next season? Yeah, I think last year what we really just focused on was definitely taking one game at a time. You know, we weren't like looking ahead to to games or what would happen if we lost this game or what would happen if we won this game. We just were really focused on the next game and and that was it. We didn't um, focus too much or look ahead too much. So I think that's one thing this year that we're going to really focus on as well is just like take it game by game, you know, controlling the controllables. There's definitely going to be things that like that happen. And, you know, last year we um, managed to face a lot of adversity and get through that. So um, we've got a lot of good experience, you know, dealing with that. Um, So just taking, I think, those things into this year and and definitely just focusing like one game at a time, um, not looking too far ahead. That I uh, think is really special about this program is just in terms of uh, so many players coming from so many different backgrounds. You're obviously from New Zealand. 
Um, there's the players from Europe. Uh, you have transfers coming in now. You know, obviously a lot of New Jersey players as well. How has that been just in terms of experience and also culture with this program and how you're able to have such strong chemistry over the years, uh, despite having people coming from all over the world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, what was really cool last year is we obviously had our international trip where we, we got to go to the Netherlands and Belgium, and we obviously have um, quite a few Dutch players. So I think that was a really cool part for them, just being for them being able to show us around, you know, their hometown and and kind of showing us what it's like um, for them back home and maybe how like they do things differently back home, um, how they play hockey and, and the culture surrounding hockey as well um, back home for them. So that was definitely really cool for a lot of us, I think, to kind of step into their shoes and, and see um, what they do on a day to day basis and stuff. But um, I think we've just actually had a values um, session as a team. So it's kind of quite fresh in my mind, which is cool. But we definitely talk a lot about how we are quite a unique team. We've got a lot of um, unique individuals, obviously a lot of internationals. And, and one thing we're very good at is just accepting everyone's differences. And I think um, just being able to kind of, you know, understand what they're, what they're dealing with or what they're going through. Everyone's dealing with different things and, you know, it's different for a lot of people. So just being really understanding of each other. And I think we're just really good at that. And uh, just talking about the team specifically, as I mentioned, you have a lot of returning players back. Uh, you being in goal, obviously with Puck Winter right in front of you in the back line, how important is she to the defense and obviously her ability uh, to make be a playmaker at the net as well? She's so important. I feel so lucky to have Puck in front of me. I mean, I think she had 12 defensive saves last year, so that kind of shows a lot about how much she um, can back me up as well when I get into a little bit of trouble. But yeah, I feel really blessed and lucky to have her in front of me. And then, you know, she's also um, so strong on the attacking circle as well for us on penalty corners. So um, I think she's definitely grown up and learned a lot as well over the past few years, you know, in terms of confidence and really stepping into that role. Um, being that centre back, you know, you have, you do have a lot of pressure and I think um, we're quite similar and, you know, both of us, obviously it's a team sport, but um, maybe sometimes we feel like, we have more individual roles as well. We can see the whole field. So um, we're kind of having to do a lot of communicating as well and organizing. So we work a lot and talk a lot together as well about, um, you know, tactics and communication and what's going on. So, um, yeah, I just feel really lucky to have her in front of me and, and be able to lean on her. And we definitely lean on each other a lot. So it's very cool. And just in terms of uh, obviously your leadership along with uh, Guillermo, uh, Guillermo uh, Castellano, uh, as well as just the experience you have back with Puck, uh, also Indy Van Eck, you also have uh, Ava Kinkiewicz, uh, Paulina Nicholas, you know, so many players that have been on Big Ten teams in terms of all Big Ten recognition. Uh, in terms of Coach Civico, obviously, you know, what she's done with this program over the years. What has her message been to your group and, your, you know, the seniors and the veterans that are back in terms of expectations for this year? Yeah, I think um, you've said it. We've got such a, a good core group coming back, which is so exciting. And the cool thing about that, too, is you, you don't you feel like you don't really have to start over again. You know, you've got a lot of those core players back. So I think the biggest thing um, for us, obviously, this year has just been kind of making sure those new players and maybe younger players are being pulled along as well and really showing the ropes and like, this is what we do, you know, this is how we do it. Um, so we've had a lot of meetings and discussions and, you know, as a team and as a leadership group about how we can kind of implement that and implement our ways. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest thing is just we're one big family. So, you know, no one gets left behind. We look after each other. If you don't take care of yourself, you know, nothing else is going to go right on the field. So um, looking after each other, looking after yourselves, definitely um, as a team, you know, that is just going to um, bring about winning, you know, that winning mentality and winning games. I failed to mention Brittany Molino too. She, she's been uh, her fifth year now, too. So a key player. Also, apologies yeah. if I missed anyone else, but I just covered uh, your team for so long. Uh, it's amazing how many key players are back. I guess, what is it about the culture? You know, I'm sure there's been opportunities either to go overseas or uh, to, you know, you have a couple of transfers coming in, but the transfer portal, NIL these days, what has been about this group that's been able to stay together and want to have this season ahead to accomplish even more than you already have? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I've kind of spoken it, but we definitely just 
you know, surround and, and really encompass that family idea. Um, everyone, you know, is bought into that. Um, and like I said, we've literally just done a value session as well as a team. So I think that's something as well that we really focus on. We have um, core team values. We make sure everyone's really clear on that. Um, they know what they are. They know, you know, how to abide by them, if you if you may. <laughs> um, and then um, just, yeah, making sure everyone's clear on those, you know, this is how we act, this is what we do. And I think that's definitely one part is, you know, as captains and as that leadership group that we've um, really looked into and really kind of tried to get the new players on board um, as well with. And in terms of all the newcomers, you have a, a, a pretty uh, five, five freshmen, four transfers. How has it been in terms of integrating them into the program? And is there anyone that kind of has stood out or you expect to have a big year uh, this season? Yeah, I think all of them have just, you know, from day dot, um, first day, they've just done so well, you know. Um, they've already made such great changes, you know, within the team and they've bought so much. They all have such... Um, they're individually also talented and they're all great personalities. Every single one of them is just, I mean, they've bought such great individual unique skills and you know, personalities to this team. So they've all fit in awesome. They've done such a great job, um, you know, from day one of preseason. So I'm super excited for them to, uh, to show, you know, put their skills on show this year. A couple more for you. Uh, wanted to ask about the schedule. Obviously, the Big Ten is such a gauntlet. Uh, best conference uh, in the sport. And then obviously, uh, Coach Civical always schedules an aggressive non-conference schedule. Uh, you have St. Joe's once again, UConn, Princeton. Uh, I guess, how, how important is it mentality-wise uh, to be able to, uh, you know, keep, keep strong mentally uh, with such a difficult schedule, especially once you get into Big Ten play? And I guess, how does non-conference play help prepare you for that? Yeah, I think um, obviously we go into every game with that winning mentality and, you know, with that kind of Jersey grit. That's um, one of our values, actually, is just like we're from Jersey. No one's getting past us. No one's, you know, no one's going to beat us. So I think it's just really important um, going in with that kind of mindset as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's obviously as you get later into the season, there's a lot of fatigue. We obviously have a very tough schedule, which, I mean, I love personally, I think, um, I get so excited to play, you know, big 10 teams. And, and obviously we have such a tough non-conference schedule as well. So I think that's a big part of it. Um, going into each game just with such a winning mentality and with that kind of jersey grit. Um, but like you say, you know, in the, towards the end of the season, you can get that kind of mental fatigue. So I think what we're really good at is just like, A, recognizing that. Um, and then B, you know, as a leadership group or as captains, we kind of, we can go to the coaches and, you know, talk about that with them and, figure out ways on, you know, how we can kind of work that, work through that um, as a team. So uh, I think we're very lucky to have such, you know, understanding coaches as well. They understand there's definitely that week of, you know, you have um, midterms as well. So they know, you know, they plan ahead and they know um, and work with our nutritionist and, you know, strength and conditioning coach. So they all know um, there is going to be an aspect of fatigue at some point um, and they're very good at being able to manage that and, you know, talk through that with us too. Fans definitely can forget that you are student athletes at times too, and 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 by the way, props to you. You have you're, you're all academic, everything uh, in terms of your career. So too too many accolades to mention, but uh, obviously a tremendous representative of, of Rutgers field hockey and Rutgers as well. Uh, last question for you, uh, Coach Civico has been very you know adamant about championships are the goal for this team. Uh, last year you had that tremendous start. Obviously, the postseason didn't go the way you wanted it to. With this group that you have back, uh, what's the key for you to all have the season that you all hope you have and to be competing for championships uh, once you get to November? Yeah, I think um, we, you know, before we left the summer, that was definitely something we sat down with, you know, the team in spring and went through. And then we also introduced those goals to um, the incoming players, you know, before we left the summer as well. So, I think having that in, you know, our minds over the summer and training with that purpose as well over the summer um, was very important. I think the biggest thing for us is probably just, you know, staying focused on one game at a time, not looking too far ahead. Obviously, you know, the goal is to win every game, but if there is a loss, being able to bounce back from that um, and just, you know, knowing mentally how to handle that. Um, so I think we've kind of focused on that a, a little bit too. Um, we obviously had such a good run last year, but, you know, then you can have that one loss and maybe that can change everything. So just 
you know, knowing how to um, deal with that, I think, is really important. But, yeah, definitely focusing on, on one game at a time and, and then figuring it out as we go, I think. Sophia Howard, Rutgers goalkeeper, all region a year ago. Tremendous season last year. Looking to build on it this year. Rutgers fans will be rooting for you. And uh, best of luck in the season ahead. Thank you so much. It was great talking with you. You as well. And thank you so much for listening and watching the Scarlet Faithful podcast once again.